Ugh, pronated wrists, so unsightly. Just a reminder that these guys are primarily quadrupedal, meaning that they just like walk on all fours most of the time and only rear up occasionally. Oh god, I think I'm gonna be sick. And they have the nerve to say the thing was covered in feathers! Dilophosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs, but why did they make it so damn ugly? Like, it's got a freaking bulldog face. Nah, bro! Nah! Whew, not only are the arms pronated, they are way too long! Okay, that ain't cool. This is not what a Megaraptor's face should look like. It should be a lot more narrow. And the claws, something to be said about the claws. <laughs> wrong tail! Wrong tail! Look, I know you paleo nerds hate calling them pterodactyls, but the name means winged finger. The fingers are supposed to be attached to the wings, goddammit! My god! And these are the main characters! You're gonna be looking at this the whole damn show! My god, bro! The wings! Nuh-uh, nuh-uh, no way, no way, we're past this. We are so past this! Noticeable lack of spikes on its back, and its tail is a bit too thick. Whoa, bro! Freaking nudist over here! Also, R.I.P. Trudon, it's not even a valid genus anymore. I know that's hard to swallow, but it's just the truth. Yeesh, those arms are way too long and pronated. Plus, this T-Rex is way too damn skinny. Somebody give this thing a damn Wendy's burger! Or something! It's supposed to be a big heckin' chocker! Nah, bro. This can't be. The wrists aren't pronated. That's right. But there's not a feather in sight! Oh, so close. I mean, it's like the only raptor in the show that has feathers. Seriously, what the hell? I mean, it's got them on the wings. Uh, they're pronated. Blech. The wings aren't even big enough. It's supposed to have a big fluffy tail in the back, too. Uh, they tried. 